Sleeping warrior's got a message for me. Jeffrey, you need to demonstrate that an observer in Australia and an observer in South America can see Octantis, which you can't even see anyway with camera photography or with the naked eye. These southern circular star trails were taken from the Kennedy Range in Australia. Here's a closer examination of this photo. As you can see, there's a bunch of stars around the South Celestial Pole here. Um, I can't see where Sigma Octantis is because there's a lot of stars that are coming into view due to the fact that this is a high ISO photo and a long time exposure at the same time bringing out more of the stars. This circle here represents about a degree around the Southern Celestial Pole. There are a bunch of stars in there. Now here's a longer time exposure of a lower ISO photo of the Southern Circular Star Trails from Atacama Desert, Chile. Here's a little bit closer, as you can see, this picture is very, very clear. Now here's where Sigma Octantis is located. As you can see, right here, there's Sigma Octantis. Even dimmer stars can be seen closer to the South Celestial Pole. Here's a celestial map of the uh, South Celestial Pole. And you can see Sigma Octantis is just about a degree away from the South Celestial Pole. Please, continue on. Because I've checked. I've spoke to people in the Tasmanian um, Astronomical Society and I asked them to provide evidence of the, the star trails and they were unable to do it. They couldn't show Sigma Octantis no matter what uh, equipment they had and they said that you can see it with the naked eye. You can't see it with the naked eye because it's too low in magnitude. It's a magnitude 4 star, it's too dim. But they said you could, but when I asked them for evidence they couldn't produce it. Here's an unedited photo of the comet Neowise. It's a 10 second exposure at ISO 6400. As you know, you can see some light pollution in it. Okay, here's the same photo, but it, I adjusted the contrast and the exposure. As you can see, there's more stars in the background, and also you can see the comet more clearly. Here's another photo. As you can see, uh, this is a 30 second time exposure, and you can see that there's more light pollution. Okay, here's the adjusted photo. Notice more of the dimmer stars of a magnitude four or dimmer are coming out. Many of these stars I could not see with the naked eye. The comet was barely visible with the naked eye as well. This means you can take a long time exposure in an area with a lot of light pollution. This star, HIP 63024, has a magnitude of 5.75. Remember, Sigma Octantis is 5.4 in magnitude. Here is the star HIP 63024, circled. It is very noticeable in this under 30 second time exposure. Many magnitude 5 or dimmer stars can be seen in long time exposures and in this photo. Yes, Sigma Octantis can be seen on a photo if exposed long enough. Conclusion, if a magnitude 5.75 star can be seen in a photo, then a 5.4 magnitude can definitely be seen in a time exposed photo. Wake up sleeping warrior, all you need are two observers, one in southern Chile and the other in eastern Australia. Between 15 and 26 June on any given year have two observers in Chile and in Eastern Australia do a long time exposure aimed toward the south simultaneously to capture the star trails. Both observers need an SLR camera, a tripod, and a shutter release, either a remote or attached or fine. Both photos must be recorded simultaneously at 1930 in Eastern Australia and 0530 in Southern Chile. There is a one hour window where both places will be dark at the same time. Again, it must be done at these times, Chile Observer 0530 and East Australia Observer at 1930 since both are 10 hours apart. If the observers want a crystal clear photo, it's best to lower the ISO and slow the shutter speed to more than 20 minutes or more. If you follow these instructions, you'll be able to take a photo of Sigma Octantis from both of these locations simultaneously, even if there's mild light pollution, and you're guaranteed to have Sigma Octantis on your photo. Okay? So let's get to it. What do you say?